Hi, I'm Millie. Welcome to my channel. I am autistic and ADHD and I just want to do this quick one today. It's going to be um, just a software demo. Um, I figured out how to connect text-to-speech on a Mac to uh, for video calls to Zoom and uh, to Microsoft Teams. So I'm going to show you how to do that. If you want to skip straight to the demo, I'll have timestamps below so you can skip past the intro. But um, yeah, I'm doing this because uh, I have another video about this, but I'm a part-time AAC user, meaning I use text-to-speech and sometimes cards to communicate. And in, in Zoom and Teams, it's great that they have closed captioning, so they're converting other people's speech to text. So that really helps me with uh, processing of uh, language processing issues. So that helps me understand what other people are saying. But this is um, to be able to use uh, text to speech. So from my end, typing in and generating synthesized speech. And as far as I could tell, there was no way, built-in way to do that in Zoom and Teams. So I figured out a way to connect some third-party software to, uh, yeah, to make that happen and without having to play it on speakers and then go into the microphone because that sounds terrible. So this is all within software. So it's just audio directly into another program. So this demo will be on Mac and with some software using Audio Hijack. And uh, now I'll show you how to do that. All right, so for this demo, I'm using a Mac. This is uh, just one of the Apple M1 iMacs desktop computer. And uh, just using the built-in text-to-speech that Apple has built into the operating system. So if you haven't used that before, it's in System Preferences and then Accessibility. So it's really good accessibility options. And um, go to Spoken Content. And then, uh, yeah, this is just uh, where you set up. Uh, you can choose from different voices. And um, if I play here, that's Hello, just... my name is Ava. I am an American English voice. That's what that sounds like. So I have it set to Speak Selection. And um, I have it as a shortcut of option and escape. You can set that to whatever works for you. And uh, yeah, so this is just really how to use Mac um, for the turning text into synthesized speech part of this. Um, you could also do this whole procedure with an online text-to-speech, something like Natural Reader, but for this, I'm just um, using the least amount of software possible, so just using the built-in system, which works really well. So I have that turned on in accessibility. So then the next thing I need to do is have, it can be just any place where you can type in text and select it. So I'm just using the text edit built-in application. Could be notes, could be a text field, in a web browser or anything. Um, but again, this is just kind of the simplest built-in option. So if I type something, I'm just using my keyboard. The only slightly awkward thing is actually I have to select the text and then I'm gonna use my keyboard shortcut. So I'm gonna press Option and Escape. Hello. And it reads the word, just like that. So we have the computer speaking the text so now we need to connect that to Zoom or Teams or whatever you're using. So the next step is to um, open Audio Hijack. So Audio Hijack is the program that I use to connect the audio from the text to speech to Zoom or other applications. I don't wanna to get too much into what this program is, but it's just super useful for all kinds of things, recording audio from applications, routing audio from one application to another, just recording your own voice on a microphone, podcasting, stuff like that. But this is just a really simple use case for it. I'll put the link in. Um, 
It is paid software, but I find I use it for so many things related to accessibility, used it for school, recording lectures, that kind of thing. But for this one, um, when I open the program, it comes up with a session list. So these are various setups of audio routing that I've created before. So I already have set up these ones, text-to-speech to Teams and text-to-speech to Zoom, depending on what I'm using. So this is what it looks like. So you just have these little modules. So it's a really simple setup. So it's going from whatever application I'm using to type in the text. So you have to make sure to choose the one. You know, if I was using notes, I would choose notes here. And because I'm using text edit, I have text edit here. And then the audio is following along these arrows from text edit. And then the audio goes to the default system output, which is just my speakers. And that's so I can just hear, you know, make sure the typing is working properly so that I can hear the output. But at the same time, it's sending the audio to, um, this is the Microsoft Teams one. So it's the Microsoft Teams audio device. So basically Teams, the program, has an audio input that we're sending audio to. And then Teams will think that's just the same as like the, as if you were talking into the microphone. So, so I already created this one, but I'll show you quick how to create this from scratch if you just got Audio Hijack. So again, if I opened Audio Hijack for the first time, I wouldn't have all these. I just, this would be blank or maybe there'd be a demo one. But anyways, I just want to click new session. So we're going to create a new one. And so there's all these templates. So this gives you ideas of different, all the different things you can do. And it gives you starting setups. But uh, just to show you how it works, I'm just going to start with a blank one. So I choose blank. And this is what it looks like with nothing in it. So on this side, you want to be on this tab that says blocks. And these are all the different things that you can take audio from thing, some audio from something to something else. And there's even audio effects like equalizers and uh, filters and all that kind of stuff. So we're just gonna keep it simple. We just want one uh, source for where the audio is coming from. So in this case, that'll be an application. So I just click and drag it over. And then it says select an app. So I click this. So our source is an application. So I click this. If I already have the application I want running, I can go to running applications and select it. Otherwise, I can select an application if it doesn't show up down here. But the easiest thing to do is have the application running before you do this. Go to running applications, and then uh, text edit shows up here. And I don't need to change anything else here. Yeah, so that's our audio source, text edit. And then we want it to output somewhere. So we want one audio device, so I'm just gonna drag it over. It automatically creates this connection from um, the source to the output. And this one we leave as is because, um, yeah, that's just the default system output. So that'll play over our speakers or headphones or just whatever we have as our default audio output on our computer. And then we want one more output device. And for this one, I'll show it uh, for creating for Zoom, but if you have both of the applications installed or either, so if you have Teams installed, so not the web version, but the actual, the actual Mac application, the standalone application, once those are installed, they will show up here. So they show up as a place where you can route audio to. 
So if I wanted to do Teams, I would choose this one. I'm going to set up Zoom. So I'm going to choose this one. And that's it. That's all you have to do to uh, for that for that basic setup. So I'm just going to close this one since I have a copy of this already, but this is done. You would just go to info and give it a name here, like Zoom, TTS to Zoom. But I'm going to close this because I already have this one. It's, it just auto saves it anyways, so now I have duplicates. So I'll open up my text-to-speech to Zoom. And we have to remember to do before the meeting when you're going to use this is open up Audio Hijack, click on your session, and click Run, like that. And then you can see it says Running. So now this is all active. So, and it shows in the session list here, Running. And I can also stop it and start it from here without even opening up that session view. But I like opening up the session view just to make sure I have everything set up correctly. So it's running. I have my text edit open. And now I just need to open Zoom. All right, so here I have Zoom. And just to show you how this works, you actually don't need to do anything once, like all the setup we've done is in Audio Hijack. The nice thing is once you get to Zoom, there shouldn't really be anything you need to change. But um, I just went into the settings. So just went up here, preferences, settings, and down to audio. So what I'm showing here is just, you see this audio input level. So right now, it's uh, pulling that off my built-in microphone of my iMac. But what Audio Hijack will do is route the audio from the text-to-speech into the microphone. And both will work without changing settings, or either or. So if I was able to speak, then I could just speak out loud like this. And if I needed to use text-to-speech, I can just do this. So this is just me showing you how you can test it for yourself to make sure it's working. So I'm going back to my text edit, selecting the text I want to speak, hitting my uh, hotkey on my keyboard. Hello. And it spoke the word. And you can see when I do that, it'll show up on the input level here, the same as if I was speaking on the microphone. Hello. Perfect. So then in the meeting, I can type whatever I need to say. And then again, oh, you, I can use hotkeys to do the speech. But if you don't like remembering hotkeys on your keyboard, I can right click this, go to speech, and then start speaking. My name is Millie. Perfect. So that's the Zoom setup. The thing to remember for Zoom as well, because this is acting as if it's your regular microphone, all the same regular settings in the meeting apply too. So basically all you have to do is remember to unmute and mute yourself as you normally would. So you have to be unmuted, highlight your text and do text to speech and then everybody will be able to hear it. And they're hearing the direct audio feed, so it'll come through perfect and clear because it's not coming out of a speaker and then into a microphone. It's actually sending the audio direct from one application to, to another. So, so yeah, that'll come through to really clear to everybody. So just like speaking out loud through the microphone, you just have to remember to unmute yourself before you use the text-to-speech. 
So I'll show you now in Microsoft Teams. So everything's the same with uh, Audio Hijack other than the application we're choosing for the source. So I'll hit stop on my Zoom session and on my team session. So again, I don't have to open this. I can just click run here. But just to show you, it's the same thing. Um, sorry, I think I said before that the source was different. The source is always the same where you're typing your text. The output here is different. So for my Zoom one, it shows Zoom audio device there. And then for my Teams one, it shows Microsoft Teams audio device. So that's really the only difference. So I have this one running. So then I open up Teams. This is slightly more annoying to test, but it's not so bad. You can just, if you get it set up the first time, you can just assume that it's working or people in the meeting will tell you if it's not working as well, because I can't hear you. But let's say the first time you want to test, make sure it's working. So go to devices and my microphone. So that should just be default iMac microphone. So I can just leave it like that because, uh, because Audio Hijack is routing the audio into the default location, just like as it was with Zoom. So, but to, but to, to test it, you can make a test call. So I'll click make a test call. To test your call quality, record a short message after the beep. Then your message will be played back to you. My name is Millie. My name is Millie. If you're happy with the quality of your message, then you've configured Teams correctly. If not, check your device settings and try again. Hey, yeah, so that's basically it. That's how to uh, route the audio from any text editor, really, but I use text edit on Mac to uh, Teams or Zoom. Those are the only two applications uh, like for online video chat right now that I know works with this because they have that audio device I can connect into. But um, if any other ones work, please let me know in the comments and um, I, I can update this video in the future. But um, yeah, so I hope that helps. That's, uh, that's how to connect it with the program Audio Hijack. And again, I'll put that program, a link to that program in the description of the video below. I hope that demo helped some of you that also have this uh, niche issue. And um, yeah, if there's a solution online, I can usually find something for most software, but this is just something I couldn't find a simpler solution for. But if anybody finds something or ways to make this also work, for software that isn't Zoom or Teams, yeah, please let me know in the comments below. And uh, yeah, if somebody who works on those softwares is watching, please, if you could incorporate um, ability to type and then have synthesized speech from right within the program, like from the chat box, that would be amazing and make things so much easier and more accessible and less multitasking. Um, there's probably a way to do this on PC as well, but I just don't have a way to test that or demo that at the moment. And um, yeah, please check out the rest of my channel if you'd like to see more neurodiversity related content based on my experience and subscribe if you'd like to watch more videos like this. And thanks so much for watching. Bye.